So our homes are meant to be the one place where you can get away from it all and relax. But what if your home is making you sick? By that, I mean what if the materials and the finishes you have in it are detrimental to your health and your air quality? Well, it doesn't have to be that way. This is the home of Queensland couple Lee and Leanne. They were concerned that the products used in our homes had the potential to cause sickness, so they did something about it. Just 45 minutes from Brisbane, their own house has been built to ensure the healthiest living environment possible. Uh, wow, what a beautiful location. I can yeah. see why you wanted to choose this as your site. Yeah, it's a pretty special location, we love it. So explain the design philosophy behind the home. Well, we wanted to come up with a design that was like a modern farmhouse yep. spin. Um, we wanted to have a courtyard on both the north and south side with big grass areas, as you can see, for the kids to sort of run and be Watch free. Watch from inside, know they're safe. Absolutely. Right, and the philosophy of a healthier boat. Obviously, as low toxin products as you can choose, nice free open space, great air circulation. We wanted to really have a lot of um, recycled timbers throughout the home ticks all the boxes on the sustainable front as well, but you still manage to make an aesthetically beautiful home. Yeah, I think that's really important, but we wanted to have really clean lines and um, architecturally designed. But it's not just a philosophy they apply to their own home. The couple have started a business called Healthy Abode to help other people create healthier homes too. So Lee, what's wrong with you know, some of the homes that people live in now that they might not be aware of? Well, basically, most people, when they come in and they build a home or they renovate and they just, you know, grab a tin of paint or grab some glues or silicons or varnishes and then and they apply them and they think that they're healthy. If they took a little bit more time, um, there are products out there that are more low in VOC and they're not as toxic as other products that you could be using. VOC stands for Volatile Organic Compounds. Now, they're chemical compounds found in building products such as paints, glues and silicons, and they can evaporate or off-gas, affecting the air quality in your home. In the same way that a healthy diet obviously gives you a better chance of having a healthy lifestyle, you're actually thinking about a healthy home in the same sorts of terms or about actually what you put in it. Well, we've chosen to use natural oils on the floors low VOC paint, which you can buy from your local hardware stores. Glues and silicons, we've chosen, um, again, um, low VOC products. I've noticed outside you've got iron bark on the yes. outside, so why have you gone with that? When we did our research, we found that the iron bark weatherboards was the only weatherboard that hasn't been treated, so it doesn't have any formaldehyde or yep. arsenic or anything like that in it, so it's in its natural form. Just standing here, you just notice the whole time as we're talking, the incredible cross ventilation yeah. that you've got in this home. How important is your airflow and, and having a good airflow in a house? Oh, it's massively important. I mean, every day we open this house up to get some fresh air throughout the home and get that cross flow. It's really, really important for, you know, for mould and humidity and things like that, freshening up the house. These days, so much about modern day living, um, it, everything's Wi-Fi and everything's, you know, it's designed to make people's lives as easy as possible, but I think a lot of people don't realise how much that can actually have an effect on... Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, stuff they can't see that's yeah, affecting well, their health. I mean, we call it sort of, you know, that Wi-Fi noise. I mean, we don't have any Wi-Fi in the house. Everything's hardwired, and so we don't have, you know, tablets that you sit on your lap and things like that. Everything, if you go to the computer, it's hardwired into the system. So, yeah, stay away from Wi-Fi as much as you can. Are you conscious, obviously, then, of any products that you use for cleaning as well? Is that another...? Yeah, it's a massive thing. About um, five or six years ago, we made a conscious effort to be chemical-free in the home, so everything's cleaned with basically, you know... A couple of cloths. A couple of cloths and some water. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, I think that you could go and choose some indoor plants and scatter those through bedrooms and family rooms because, I mean, they're a really good way of purifying the air. This is a stunning architect design property. It may be only 200 square metres, but it feels so much larger. Features include barn doors on the bedrooms, high ceilings, a stainless steel kitchen opening onto a verge garden courtyard, and a home office off the detached garage. So I'm loving the idea of a chemical-free house, but what about a swimming pool? Surely that is beyond the limits. 
This is an environmentally friendly chemical free pool. It runs on a copper filtration system. So you've never put anything in there? No, we've been in the house nine months. It's a 60,000 litre swimming pool and it hasn't had one chemical in it. And it hasn't ever gone green? No, it's phenomenal. Right, and what about you drinking water inside the home? Yeah, well that's a separate system, but it actually runs, our tank water runs through a bacteria filter so that obviously all the nasties are taken out of the water and it goes straight to the house and there's also a secondary system underneath the sink. And could you retrofit either this sort of system for both the house and the pool if you have an existing structure? Absolutely. If anyone has a chemical pool or something that contains chlorine or yep. anything like that, you can um, retrofit these straight to the system. Man, where was that all the years ago when I spent six hours a day in a pool? <laughs> Jo, this is my wife Leanne. We've both been uh, working on this project together and it's a real passion of ours to have a healthy home. Well, you've done all the interiors, haven't you? I have. So are you an interior designer? I'm actually not, but I just got tired of working with interior designers that were bringing products into the home, that I was questioning the source and the toxicity levels and I wanted a story behind each piece. I guess I've focused on supporting Australian made where I can and where I can't. I've moved to fair trade, ethical, and what about materials? I mean, obviously, I mean, recycled materials are great, but what about soft materials and furnishings? Yeah, I've really focused on natural, beautiful hemps, um, organic cotton where I can, and linens. Even with our bedding, we're supporting a beautiful brand that's got certified. That's yep. the one thing that I look for with material, is just to know that it's made without some of the nasty yep. and harmful chemicals. So it's great that you're passionate about having a healthy home, but you're also actually living proof that it can make a difference to your health, aren't you? Yeah, a couple of years ago, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, which is such a debilitating and painful illness. So that was really the catalyst for me exploring clean living, organic eating, and then looking at the environment that I lived in. Wow, and so would you say now that you actually manage it well? Totally, I'm in full recovery and my health and wellbeing is the best it's ever been. So, and I'm forever grateful for my journey of learning um, what I've learned to get here. Well, congratulations, guys. It Thank is, you. It's not, it's not only a stunningly beautiful home, but it, it feels wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, cheers, Jane. Thanks.